What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, of course, this is TWA Motorsports, and today, yes, we did buy a new trailer, and that's what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to show you some of the cool stuff that it's got on it. I wanna talk about um, you know, why I wanted to buy it, and uh, it did come as a package deal with a vehicle. The vehicle, I may or may not show you guys, um, I'm, I'm gonna have to think about it, but uh, I may eventually have a video on the vehicle that came on the trailer, the package deal, uh, but today we're just gonna talk about the trailer. So I'm gonna ramble on for a little bit about the trailer. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I like about it. Uh, we're gonna go out first though and talk about the trailer that uh, I bought a long time ago that has been used to carry just about everything in the shop home. Uh, the 54, the 55, the OBS, the C10. Uh, a lot of my pictures that you guys have seen have been on that trailer and so let's go out and take a look at it real quick and we'll talk about you know um you know what i what i had what i didn't like about it and like i said then we'll come back in and talk about what i bought and what i really love about it but there was nothing wrong with this trailer guys i, I will start by saying that it, i it's probably one of those things that i would have kept had this deal not came up with the car and the trailer as a package deal uh, but I have been wanting to get a new trailer for a long time. I've went back and forth on buying an enclosed trailer. The problem is, is I don't really have something that's big enough to haul an enclosed trailer. And a lot of times I like to keep my daily drivers as my trailer pulling cars. So I don't want to buy like a big diesel truck just to pull a trailer randomly because I don't pull it enough to, to warrant having that. And I don't want to drive like a big diesel every day. So that's just, it, it wasn't justifiable to me to do that. But this thing is a 2011 Lamar trailer. Um, it is an 18 foot long steel deck, three foot dovetail. Uh, it's been great. I've loaded so many things on this. Um, you know, with the ramps that are their hideaway in the back, when they come out with my race ramps on that my wife bought me for Christmas one year, um, you can load something relatively low. Um, you could get something, you know, you've got quite a stretch with, you, I think those are four feet. And then you have an additional 72 inches, I believe, with my race ramps. So all in all, you could get something pretty low. Now, the only downside is randomly, like the 52, for instance, the little steps or the running boards on the side would not make this transition. I cannot get my 52 on this trailer. And then like an, a lowered F body, the Y pipe would drag on that transition as well. So um, that's why you see some of the scrapes that you see on it. And it's lived a rough life outside. You know, I haven't really had, um, I've had it for a long time since 2011 and I didn't have a shop until like a year and a half ago. So I didn't have the ability to really put it inside. And so now I would like to keep the new one inside and we'll talk about that when we go in. But some of the things that I didn't like about this other than, you know, that transition point, not being able to get everything I owned on it. Um, it doesn't have removable fenders, which, you know, there's been a couple times that I've needed that with something that was super low. And the whole reason I bought this trailer uh, is I was sick of borrowing. I would always borrow a trailer when I'd buy something. And it got to the point where that trailer wouldn't be there and I didn't have the ability to borrow one. And I rented one one time. And it was just, it just got to the point where it was a hassle. When I bought this thing too, I didn't have this channel. And we were going to the drag strip with a white WS6 Trans Am that I had. And uh, to be honest with you, it's probably the slowest Trans Am ever um, trailered to a track. But the track is about an hour and a half away from my house. The class that we were running in was a midnight. It started at midnight. So you can imagine if something broke, um, that car only ran like, I think, low 12s, high 11s. If something broke, though, it's two in the morning, one in the morning, whatever, and you have no, you know, you drove it there. So there's no way to get it home. And I just didn't want to go through that, to be honest with you. I wanted something that I could just uh, load it up, leave it hooked up and just like come home and unhook it the next morning and have a way to get home if something did break. Now, nothing ever did break luckily, but I have used this to haul a lot. I mean, a lot of stuff. Like I said, all that stuff in the garage, I hauled this frame home with it. Um, Unfortunately, not that because it is not mobile, but yeah, it's been a great trailer. And so, um, you know, I think it's sold now. I think I've actually got somebody coming to pick it up. But, you know, when I bought that, they had a wood deck one and a steel deck. And I really wanted the steel deck over the wood just because of rotting. I knew it was going to set outside. And the other thing, the downside to like the steel deck trailers is if they get a little bit of moisture on them. So, you know, with us racing that late at night, um, 
there would be a little bit of dew starting and trying to pull a car up on that trailer it gets really slick and but i i like it for the fact that it's been um you know good trailer nothing rotting on it uh, other than putting tires on it i have done absolutely nothing to this trailer it's just it's just been a good one it, it really has and so i recommend if anybody needs a trailer um try to stick with a all metal floor if you're going to be hauling cars or letting it set outside i just think that's the best option and i've tried to take care of it as well as i possibly could you know it for it being setting outside but like if we'd go through snow or rain or whatever i'd wash it off and i actually have a brush that i would brush it like hand wash it off and uh try to dry it with like my leaf blower or something but either way that one's going away we got this new one let's go take a look at it and talk about some of the stuff that i really really like about it because there's several things um that i like so starting off i believe it's a 2021 if i remember right i know it's a 20 or a 21 so it's only like a year old and it is an aluma 18 foot and so obviously right off the bat guys you notice it is an aluminum trailer and so there's good and bad to aluminum uh, obviously the weight savings right so the steel trailer is super heavy and this thing's not light but it is lighter than a steel trailer so that's that's one plus uh, obviously with aluminum you're not going to get any kind of rust whatsoever on the uh, aluminum the downside is if it sets outside and it's aluminum it will start to oxidize but my plan is like i said to keep it in here and we'll talk about kind of where i want to position it because it's not where i want it to be right now but this is where i could get it for the time being but so yeah it is 18 feet just like my other one the upside is you could see some stuff already um i never had a spare on the other trailer i just always risked it i tried to keep good tires on it um this guy that i bought this trailer and car combo from did modify this several ways this used to be over there on the side he liked it better here i have to agree with him um, so he moved it there obviously we have a winch now this trailer does tilt so we don't have the dovetail like we had before but it does have a tilt on it so you can see the latches here you got one here and one on the other side and then a pin that you pull out um he added the winch and the winch goes up with the tilt and guys you have no idea how many times i have used a come along or a another like four-wheeler or suv or something to pull something up on a trail on that trailer out there because it was broken which like i said i could have added the winch to that trailer and uh but it, it was just to the point where this deal came up and i i couldn't pass it up but other than that, it's got a rock shield on the front, which is something that I always wanted on the other trailer. I noticed that when I drug like the 55 home, for instance, on the trailer outside, um, there was bugs all over the front of it. Now, while this won't keep all the bugs off, uh, it'll sh sure cut down on a lot of the bugs and the scratches from maybe the vehicle pulling it, flipping up a rock or whatnot. Um, just something I've always wanted to have, uh, just to kind of protect the front of the vehicle. So moving on to the back, um, it does or moving on closer to the back it does have removable fenders on it which is amazing actually on both sides so you can take that fender off and be able to get out of a door on a super low vehicle which a majority of my stuff is lowered as you guys know and uh yeah i did buy it in colorado i haven't changed the plate yet i haven't even i i literally just got it uh but i drug this thing home from denver which we'll talk about too that was a that was a whole fun trip other than that is the anniversary edition which i don't know what that means other than it came with these fancy wheels and even the matching spares so it does have a little nicer set of wheels on it you guys know how i feel about black wheels but i think i can deal with that on my trailer i think um tie downs in the floor obviously you got four two in the back two in the front uh loading lights which is absolutely amazing guys i unloaded the car in the dark and so you flip a switch up front and all these loading lights come on these leds in the floor it makes it really nice when you're trying to load something at night which from time to time we do or unload at night um so like i said removable fenders on both sides uh fire extinguisher that he added he added these stops and when i when i saw this i cracked up because this little see this little piece of rubber that he put on the end of the the bolt that little intricate stuff that's the guy i want to buy from a guy that would go and get some of these and uh that he's literally just like me that ocd stuff like that he built all this he built the thing to hold the ramp or, or sorry the uh winch he built that 
um, modified obviously the spare tire holder and then we move on up to the front where he modified this used to be really high he modified it and uh, made it a little lower which definitely looks better and then all of our controls are in this box so we have obviously the um, reservoir for the hydraulics because this used to be what you would consider a uh, inertia tilt so as you backed off the vehicle would the weight of the vehicle would tilt the trailer or you would unlatch it before you loaded something get on the back stand and lower it down well he didn't like that while he left that control mechanism underneath and you can go back to that he added this hydraulic cylinder from aluma so he actually bought it from the company because they do make that as an option and retrofitted that in to this trailer so it has a key fob that i can stand back and push a button and tilt the trailer manually which is absolutely amazing i i love that feature that was one of the one of the really cool things other than the winch and the rock guard and the removal fenders like that was i thought that was really cool obviously we've got a battery up here for the winch we can keep our winch controls and whatnot in here and then we our switch for our lights back here in the back i don't know if they'll i think i've got to have it plugged into the trailer or the truck in order to make those work but that guy there um you could see like little things like this he didn't want this rubbing so he put this little padding right here so it didn't hit and short out and then he did wire it if you wanted to put a trickle charger on it he went ahead and pulled the lines through he said i just didn't have time to he didn't get the chance to put the trickle charger on it but i'm really excited about the trailer guys i you have no idea um how many times I've needed the winch, the removable fender, had liked to have the rock guard, to have the lights in the floor when you're loading. Like, it seems like all the things that I've always wanted, this trailer has. Now, um, you know, like, like I said, I, I, or I don't know if I said this or not, but I, I went back and forth on an enclosed trailer, but I didn't want to have, you know, I didn't want to have something big pulling it. Oh, the tires are filled with nitrogen because this was, this guy has airplanes and so um he says i have access to nitrogen so nitrogen filled tires is really nice because um if you get a climate change so obviously he was in denver it gets cold they lose pressure they the nitrogen stays consistent so all in all i'm pretty excited about it you can see i've got my four-wheeler and golf cart out here too because we had to jockey some stuff around the basement garage that is where the the car that came on this trailer is at uh, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I, well, I was going to tell you, I want to keep it inside. Obviously, this is not where I want to keep it because it's kind of in the middle of everything. Uh, and I can't really pull stuff in and out. My goal is to put it up against the wall over here. Now, whether that's in the back or in the front, I don't really know yet. Uh, it just depends. This garage door actually, guys, does not work. I don't know if I've said that in any videos in the past. But this garage door broke back when I had the Trailblazer SS. I was parking it here every night. And um, I hit the remote one day and the door did something weird where the windings wound up and got all tangled up up top. So when I released the winding, the spring lost all its tension and I haven't been able to get the right amount of tension in it for it to open the proper way. So I need to have somebody come out and take a look at it and see. Um, it was all I could do to keep the door from falling while I was up on the ladder trying to adjust the spring. So it, I really need somebody out here to fix it and make that door work. And then like I said, I think I want to move the trailer over here, but uh, that, that brings me to something I want to ask you guys about. I've thought about, I, I really want some way to maneuver this thing around in here. It's too heavy to just pick up and move, uh, but they make these little things that go underneath the tongue of a trailer and they're like a dolly. So you can like dolly them around. Now, while I know there's some out there that are like $4,000 that have a remote look like a little army tank. I don't want one of those. I don't want to spend that much money on one. I'm looking for like a couple hundred dollars maybe uh, for a dolly that I can just maneuver it around in the garage. It's always going to be on a flat ground concrete uh, while I'm maneuvering it. So I don't need something really fancy. I've even thought about buying some wheel dollies and getting maybe two wheels up on dollies, one in the front on the tongue and just being able to kind of push it up against the wall. I don't know, but let me know, let me know what you guys think about that or those dollies if you guys have ever used one. But 
Thanks for listening to me guys, ramble, guys. I know that I went on and on about the trailer. I was just excited about it. I wanted to show you guys. And I um, haven't had a whole lot of time out here to work on projects with going to get this and just life in general. It's been busy. But if you guys did enjoy this video, if you like the new trailer, let me know in the comments and hit that thumbs up button. Guys, if you are not subscribed, please go down there, hit that subscribe button. Of course, ring the bell icon that notifies you every time we drop a new video. And stay tuned to see what we work on next.